everyone so i'm gonna be doing a little kind of rent video and i know that there are people out there who have it worse than me and i shouldn't rent but life is life and i feel that i need to share some of these things in my life and it's actually why i started my channel to express frustrations joys things that give me passion and a creative outlet because as a carer my life is arranged around the people I look after which is my mom, my dad and my brother and I love them dearly and I wouldn't change it did I have other things I plan to do with my life of course but life is leading me this way and life has informed me that I need a creative outlet and YouTube seemed to be the place to go so please don't think I am being ungrateful or rude to my family, my friends or anyone or even strangers it's just what it is so <laughs> I turned 23 this May and I imagine my life would be somewhere completely different and I get told my life should be somewhere different <laughs> I have always known my mom and dad were sick. My mom and dad have been sick since I was little and this is no news to some of my friends and maybe family. I have known this a really long time and it has sort of been my responsibility for a long time to help. I remember my very early teens, pre-teen era helping doing housework and making sure my mom and dad left the house and doing little things that most kids don't think about and I was very lucky you know I, I did the performing arts stuff and I sang a lot and I was a very social kid and looking after them at the time never changed that but as I have got older and some dense injuries and health stuff on everyone's point has happened. I have sort of held up in my shell and I don't know how to get out of it anymore. I don't share my emotions. I don't see it as productive. And so as my mother would say, I get frustrated and the little things build up and up and up and up and then a big thing bubbles up underneath and then a small thing sets me off and I explode and I get angry at everybody and anything and I'm known for being rude to strangers and picking a fight with someone for picking on my friend or whatever and I know family members find me hard to deal with and it's hard so I want to put a few things straight for people who think that young carers people who are on carers allowance and things like this are lazy. My life revolves around giving my mom her meds, tidying up, getting Nathan ready for school, getting him ready to go out, giving him his medication, putting him to bed, helping my mom sleep. I can go to bed gone midnight and need to be up at 6am the next day. My life is not laziness. It's not simple. Being a carer, particularly to family, is hard and it doesn't stop at the weekend for me. My dad is easier to manage, but it's still my job. And I only get carer's allowance for one person. I don't get it for my brother and I don't get it for my dad. I get it for my mom. I had a stranger tell me that because I get carer's allowance, I'm lazy and it got to me. I remember sitting in the car and crying. I would love to get a little job and to earn more than I do and to not feel like I have to live on these benefits because it's not what I wanted. But it's what I got and I'm doing the best I can with it. So if you're a stranger and you see a young person 
who is struggling with carrying groceries to the car or having a stressful day and you can see that it's because she's with an elderly person who she's calling grandma or mum and they're being difficult or they have a young child with them don't just dismiss them like that because you don't know the situation you don't know what's going on behind closed doors and you don't know how that person's struggling i know i probably have issues with my low mood and i know for a fact i have anxiety but i refuse to get help medically because i know medicine and therapy a what I'm gonna offer and neither of which I want. I've had a bad experience with therapy and we delved into a lot of things that I don't want to remember or think about. And medication, I deal with medication enough, I don't. I don't want to be on meds as well. I want to be as clear-headed as possible and yes I guess that can mean that it's harder for me but it's what it is. As for questions I'm sure I'm about to get, no. There's no family but me and my mom, my dad and my little brother nearby. My grandparents chose a very long time ago to live as far away as possible. My grandfather is more focused on his wife, who's not that much older than my dad, and her family, to realise that it, his own is struggling. And my grandma, I feel, I personally feel, has lost interest. Uh, she sends money, she tries to be helpful, she calls every once in a while, but I just personally feel like she's lost interest in me, my health, my dad and his, because a lot of his health issues come from my grandparents divorce and an accident that occurred because neither could communicate with the other and protect him and I think they know that and I think both know that those repercussions have caused problems for myself and I hope that one day they will notice and they will help or that I don't end up snapping at them and telling them their flaws because I know I've been close to doing that before and I have done it to other people and so if you are a friend or an old friend or someone who I've snapped at and you know me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I upset you or I hurt you or I made you feel belittled because that was not my intention. I get frustrated and I can see people's flaws and I can see my own. <laughs> And I tend to hit people with what they don't necessarily realise about themselves or don't want to admit to, to hurt them. And that's wrong of me, I admit that, but I am a hot-headed, strong-willed and stubborn person who realised at around eight that it wasn't just my mom and dad's job to protect this family, it was mine. And when Nathan being autistic I take great responsibility in making sure that he has the best life possible even though sometimes he can be frustrating as, like any child and it can be a little daunting to know that he's sick and one day it will just be me and some days I feel like it's already just me and that's not my mom or his dad's fault they're getting older and Nathan relies on me, has done since a very little age. So I guess that's my little rant that's explanation thing over. I, I don't know, I guess I needed to get my emotions out. I needed to rent, I guess. Being a carer isn't easy and I know a lot of people think it is and they blame the disabled person or the sick person or the carer and that's not always how it works. But I'm happy to know my little pup is sat here with me. She's adorable and she's my therapy. When I'm sad, she will come cuddle with me and we have a good time, but she's enjoying the sun too much. And for anyone who wants to know, she is a Jack Russell cross Pomeranian, but she looks more like her father, which was the Jack Russell. But she has her mum's ears, the Pomeranian ears, and the little fluffy bits around her neck. 
so she's my therapy she helps and and I guess what sort of started this video was a conversation I had with my ex a few weeks back and the fact that one of his reasons really he was done with our relationship was because of what I do and my family and that hurt because <sighs> he it wasn't even that it upset me, it was more the fact that he had been around my family for nearly a year and he knew how hard it was from the first couple of weeks, but he stuck around. Even though he'd known from those first few weeks that he couldn't cope, he stuck around and let Nathan and my mom get used to him and now he's gone and it doesn't affect us. It really doesn't, but it, it annoys me in the sense that he could have just been truthful. He could have just been honest and said he couldn't cope. And I wouldn't have wasted nearly a year with a guy. And I guess it wouldn't have got me so... I kind of feel like my emotions have been played with. I have been played with because I don't trust easily. I don't trust with my family easily. And he just... he did whatever. Anyway, that's the end of this kind of sad video. I don't know how much editing I'm going to do to this. I don't know if I'm just going to upload it as it is or try and edit a little bit just so that it kind of goes easier. I, I don't know. I just, I just want other people to know that if you look after family members that you're not alone. There is someone out here who gets it. I know there's not a lot about young carers out there and our generation and my generation get an earful about being lazy and not doing enough and not helping family enough and so if you're being bullied or having trouble at home or you're caring for somebody and you feel horribly alone know that you're not comment down below comment on some of my social medias private message me on snapchat or instagram and i promise i will reply because I know what it feels like to be alone. I know how scary it seems and it's okay to be scared, but know that you have someone on this platform who understands, who isn't going to say her life is perfect because it's not. My life is far from perfect. Okay, my camera's gonna die. So I'm gonna end it here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've been feeling the same or just feel low recently. And give me one thing that makes you smile. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell that gives you notifications of when I upload. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.